Wisconsin Road to Nationals, June 30th, New York, Be There or Be Square. Working on some technique deadlifts here, some posture deadlifts. I sped the video up because this stuff is just super boring. It's only 275. Hitting sets of whatever felt good that day before I got fatigued, so I think I was doing like six reps or something. The idea here is just to maintain that neutral spine, not to overarch, not to be rounded out. As long as that dowel makes three points of contact with the uh, three points of contact, one being the upper head, back of the head, one being the shoulder blades, and then one being the tailbone, you have successfully completed this task. These are toes up deadlifts, so I got a rubber mat. My toes are on, so I sit down onto my heels a little bit more. It actually felt super good. I really enjoyed that. And then uh, to my boy Brian. He came up to smash some circus dumbbell with me, and uh, so we did. We brought that big blue mat out. It was his idea. So we could just put the dumbbell back on it instead of having to lower it down each rep or in case we missed a rep. So clearly, I'm not as good as he is, <clears throat> which I don't understand why, because we're both equally handsome. But... Hit that PR of 125 for the day. Took a long time, but I finally got there. Made very small jumps. And then uh, he kept going, kept going up. Sorry, my nose is stuffed up for some reason. I think this is 130 or 140 for him. He don't care. He's all about just smashing the weight. So I ended up doing some back down sets with about 90 pounds working on the drive and the catch my drive nor my catch is very good here just doing sets of two on each side you know that basic stuff holding it at the top squeezing it at the top because that's what we do I'm trying to lower it back down the best i can but it's not really working right let's go come on drive it up come on big legs brian Attack it! Get your balance, come on! Attack it! It's tough. Is it recording already? Yeah. Hey. You're just gonna get edited out anyway. I will not get edited out. I'll say hello during the set. Go. Drive. <laughs> Woo. Come on, Brian. Oh. Easy. Let's go. Press. Easy. Come on.
Come on, man. Big drive. Big legs. Easy. You got this. Come on. There we go. Drive. Drive. Good. Much better. Down. So after all that crazy pressing with my boy Brian, hitting some PRs, I hit a PR on all three of those lifts, a 310 bench and a 215 log. And then the next training session here was repetition effort squats with my buddy Zach. He calls me his best friend, but we're not best friends. So I had 375 I did for this first set of eight. And then he was working on box squats, trying to get his hippies strong. Smash that 375, three sets of eight. So you can see he's got a real issue, trying to sit back onto the box a little bit, not flopping down. Tells me the hips are a little bit weaker, that the coordination might be a little bit off. So a little bit of practice goes a long way. He wants to be an amateur strong man. And then I took 385 out because fuck it, felt good on this day. So 385, just making sure things felt right before I started. Yeah, I'm getting a little push off my knees, off my thighs, but at the same time, this is overloading. This is overloading the squat, overloading the squat mechanics. So I don't really care if I cheat a little bit because it is mostly me pressing out of the hole there. Yeah. So 385 for eight. My buddy Zach goes with 295 again. He ended up doing three sets of three at 295 before CrossFit class started. And then he went and pulled the sled. And then 385 for me again for uh, nine reps, though. I just wanted to grind some reps out here. Get my legs strong, get my hips strong, get my back strong. I love the safety squat bar. It's really probably one of the best tools I've ever bought. You can cheat a little bit, use your hands a little bit. I'm going to go in and squat today, probably going to back squat. Probably going to go up to 435 or something today. So 385 for 9 tells me I can at least get 435 for a double because that's just the way I, it carries over for me. Uh, as long as everything's moving up well. And then here's Zach's last set of three here. Got a little bit better on the second set. The third set is just a little bit worse. So like the first set was not terrible. Second set was pretty bad. And then the third set was still pretty bad. And then I went and did some box squats too. Trying to get my hips strong. Trying to sit back into my heels some more. Drive the knees, drive the knees out, but mostly open up in the taint area, so I can force myself through. I shouldn't relax so much on the box, but it's easy to cheat, and that's what I'm doing here. You can see my knees come in for just a second, then I push them back out. That's a relaxing technique, which is okay if you're if you don't do it all the time, but I do it all the time. Then I hit this little circuit up with the box squats. So I did rows, some single arm dumbbell rows, and then I did toes to bar right after. And then back on the box squat. Just trying to get in some sort of conditioning type stuff. Not really conditioning, it's just more movement, more stuff going on. And then on the next day I was feeling 
pretty tired, but I wanted to do something, so I ended up pulling the sled. I ended up going pretty fucking heavy on the sled, too, which burned me out the rest of the week, which I'm not happy about. So I did this, I don't know, 400-pound sled or whatever, 500-pound sled, I can't remember. Didn't really warm up or anything, and then I did whatever this was, I don't know. I don't really care how much the sled weighs because friction and everything that accounts for it. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It could be 400 pounds on the sled. It could be 500 pounds. It really doesn't matter. The fact of the matter was it was heavy and it's the same or more than I've done before. And then I did the backward sled drags for uh, nationals. So I did the forward sled drags on purpose to kind of fatigue my legs because when I jump into these backward sled drags, I'm already going to have to flip a tire quite a few times, a heavy tire. So I don't really care if my legs are fresh when I start doing it because it's going to suck either way. My legs, my grip, it's all, my back, it's all going to be fried if I even get through the tire flips. So Jared jumped on, I pulled him for a little bit, and it kind of worked out. It got real hard, my feet started slipping, and that's okay. But I'm sure my feet will slip a little bit at Nationals too. And then I just like finally gave out. So, moving on. Gigi hitting some box squats. I was just doing set to 10 with whatever she was doing. She wanted to squat with the chains a little bit more. So I said, yeah, I'll come squat with you. I'm going to warm up, and then I'm going to pull the sled. This was another day. I think this was like a week later. I took some days off. So I ended up doing set to 10 with all with whatever she was doing. And then we pulled the sled. It's my buddy Kent. Kent was a MP too. He was, cool. he was a tournament and resettlement. Did arm over arm sleds. See how I get my hips and my legs involved in it. It's not just my arms pulling it. Get everything involved for a nice smooth pull. I look at the knot on the sled. and That kind of helps out a lot. Turns it into a CrossFit workout. Rip my shirt off. No big deal. Not even that jacked right now. Pretty fat. I was getting really like fired up on this day and I don't really know why because it's not like I don't know like I never I guess I never really done this weight before but I didn't really know how it was gonna feel so I just got my mind right before I started doing anything and then this was the last one this is the heaviest set here and I was finally burnt out from it this was on a Sunday Gigi pushed me and made me go without a lot more rest than what I may have wanted to do. This all good. Got wow. These are what we did after. Still going? <laughs> yeah. Why?